Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about multiverses before May 28th And this is gonna be a long video So go get you some food and come and join the show And if you do enjoy multiverses and want to stay updated with multiverses content Then hit the subscribe button guys because we're gonna go crazy this year Let's get straight into it So we got about six major topics to go over And the first topic we're gonna start with is the new characters that's gonna be coming to the game And the first character that's gonna be coming to the game is the Joker Yes, he will be coming as a mage Secondly, we'll have is Banana Garden He'll be coming up as a bruiser Thirdly, we're going to have is Jason Voorhees, and he's going to be coming up as a tank. And then finally, that's going to be coming post-launch is Agent Smith. Now, unfortunately, we have no information besides that he's coming through the trailer, and that is about it. Our second topic is going to be about the free rewards we're going to be getting coming back to multiverses and the new and approved progression system. Let's get straight into it. So, for every player that's going to be coming to multiverses day one, and I'm pretty sure forever... Uh, they're going to give us Banana Guard and Lady Banana Guard for free just by playing the game. Now, for my beta players, my people, even if you played for one minute, yes, you are considered a beta player. The free rewards that we will be getting is we're going to get Jason Voorhees off rip. The next thing we're going to be getting is this cool little um, star knockout um, animation. And then thirdly, we're going to be getting this snowsuit fin juiced up um, skin. And then finally, they said, you know what? We're gonna give you the first battle pass for free. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna give us the first battle pass for free. It comes with 70 levels with rewards. If you also wanna buy the 10 plus um, tier list, it's 30, uh, 2300. And I'm gonna go, y'all, yeah, sneak peek of um, all the you know items that we're gonna be getting. And then finally, at the ending of the battle pass when you complete it, let's say you're a competitor or, East, or, or a content person that loves to you know play the game and you already complete the battle pass within like the first two weeks, don't worry guys, because they have added an infinite reward to pretty much uh, when you get to the end of the battle pass, the more you play and you start earning those battle pass points, you still get rewarded. I'm not sure what the reward is, but you're going to get some free stuff still. And I think that's awesome for the people that play the game a lot. And I thank you, PFG. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably saw that Jason Voorhees is behind a battle pass. And you're like, damn, why the hell would they do this? And I personally don't know. And I do feel bad. But not that much. And the reason why is because when you complete a character mastery, as you get into the level 15, you get 150 Gleanium. There's about 25 characters in this game, not including, you know, Jason because he's behind Battle Pass, but 150 Gleanium. You complete about, what is that, five, six characters, you get the Battle Pass for free. But you're probably saying that's a long time of grinding. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, come May 28th to my stream and others, but my stream, you could gain 100 Gleanium for free. Not only that, you can also get another free Gleanium by just playing the game one of these events are literally giving you 100 gleam by just playing the game. Not only that, your welcome back daily rewards is also going to give you 100 free gleam. And not only that, in the battle pass, if you don't buy it, you still, you know, level up a free battle pass. They're going to give you 500 gleam by just playing the game. So they pretty much just says, it's okay, guys, just play our game and you'll get it. And the battle pass um has gleam as i pretty much just said and i forgot to say that at the beginning <laughs> but not only that it has gleam in it it has enough to buy you the battle pass for the next season and more um it's 1350 gleam that you get for the whole battle pass so that means you get an extra 400 gleam just to do whatever you want if it's an announcer pack um a banner a pfg uh a pfp whatever you want literally so there is no excuses now again i don't know why it's behind it but again you literally get enough to buy the battle pass forever. So you don't ever have to spend a dime on this game. So that's my take on that. Hopefully you also agree. But the next thing we're going to be talking about is the new currency in this game. And the new currency in this game are perk um, tokens, which self-explanatory, you know, unlocks perks. Character tokens, again, self-explanatory, unlocks characters. But the new and improved one is prestige tokens. And what this does is it allows you to gain tokens for buying skins so you know all the skins that we bought back in the days and cosmetics or not just skins like anything you literally get points to buy exclusive skins yeah you literally get paid not paid you literally get free skins or free cosmetics by buying cosmetics they're like hey you bought that cool we're gonna give you some points and over time you're gonna be able to get this exclusive skin that you can't earn any other way so you get rewarded for buying stuff which is kind of crazy literally the, the reward is you buying whatever the hell you want, but they're like, you know what? You deserve more. That is insane. And I know that y'all are noticing from the screen that, where's my gold? Unfortunately, they have removed the gold system and took it out completely, but don't you worry. They're going to um, incentivize you for um, having gold. So for the players that had gold, you know, that was saving up for something like myself, I had 
200,000 gold. Not even telling you that I bought the Fred icon. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Um, but yeah, you're pretty much going to get commemorative um, cosmetics that will correlate to a player's gold. So the more gold you have, the more exclusive items you're going to get that is not going to be able to be earned in any type of way. So that means... If you have a lot of gold, you're going to get some stuff that other people will probably never have. And that's going to be something cool that you can show off forever um, to your friends and to whoever. And I think that's dope. The next thing we have is their events. Yes. Not only that events can have Gleanium in it as a reward, they're also going to have skins. As you can see, we have Wonder Woman with a Batman shirt, um, Superman in a beach form, and an Iron Giant in a Matrix coating. And don't worry, it's not only the you know the, the items that it is showing. There are rewards within these stuff that gives you um, character tokens or perk tokens or little items or XP for your battle passes, a whole bunch of stuff. And then to follow up with it is that we have, like I said before, the welcome back daily rewards. This is going to be for 11 days. That's going to reward you with character tokens, X, um, you know, battle pass tokens, the Gleanium, and then two skins. We're going to get a Clown Squad Velmish, um a variant and then like i said before the superman beach variant this is awesome and then yeah you thought i was done well i am done but pretty much these are like your missions and stuff that also allow you to gain you know battle pass um xp character um tokens and then finally your characters i told you at level 15 you get um 150 glinium that's not the only reward obviously there are character tokens there are perk tokens i'm pretty sure there are like the badges the banners and um maybe an announcer pack don't quote me on that, but there are more rewards um, leading up to level 15. All right, the third topic we're going to be talking about is the new PvE mode, pretty much the more upgraded version of arcade mode. And let's get straight into it. So the things that we have is rifts. That's what they're called. And there is about five of them. There's going to be two on release. They also come with different difficulties, up to five different difficulties from easy to loony. That is amazing. And the higher you go, the more rewards you get. So even if you finish a rift, it's okay. Um, do it again on a higher difficulty and you could get even more reward into the rifts are called nodes Which are just levels and let's just say there are a lot of levels also dialogue also um cutscenes. This is amazing um, Very thought out and don't worry. This is not just no play along games and that is it No, there are actual also rewards as you can see and there's a lot of rewards in every um, Node and don't worry. They're not gonna keep it normal because this is multiverses. We get loony here They're gonna have mutators that's either gonna make your games more difficult probably easier or goofy turkey turkey hands <laughs> um, also they're gonna have some cool game modes like running away from the nothing shooting um the target defending the crystal breaking target the classic um i think this is from smash right um boss battles like shooting the joke out of the hot air balloon dexter's laboratory's big robot jump roping <laughs> matching cards and many more that they haven't showed us yet. And on top of that, there are missions when it comes to doing these nodes that, um, you know, incentivize you doing certain things to get better rewards and etc. One more thing that I forgot to add is that there are also gems. Yes, this is a way to upgrade your characters within the game. There are many different ones that give you a lot of um, benefits and boosts. And I also think you can do negative ones just to make the game harder for yourself, if I'm not mistaken. They're also upgradable. Um, one of them that, that's right here is that every time you dodge, you send off a lightning from like um, Black Adam's like up tilt when he does the shocking. Um, and there's many more, but that's the only one that I caught from, at least in the early access clips that's been going around on YouTube. And for my casual friends, you can play co-op in this mode, yes. And on top of that, your second player, get this, doesn't count. So they could be like your little frontline person that go ahead and die because it doesn't count to your lives. And you can also save them throughout the whole match. So, you know, that's a tip right there for y'all. And like I said, these um, perks are upgradable, has a whole bunch of stuff to go into. And crazy game modes like, are these predator eggs? Like what, what is going on? <laughs> the fourth thing we're gonna be talking about are the maps. Yes, so the first map that we have that is new is called Dexter Laboratory 1. And it's an infinite scrolling map that changes consistently with buttons, tunnels, um, nods, a whole bunch of stuff. The second thing we have is Townsville. Yes, with Mojo Jojo destroying the ta um, destroying the um, town hall and bantering you throughout the whole match. Thirdly, we have is Dexter Laboratory Two for our more competitive players. Um, you know, a nice basic map with three um, platforms. And then finally, we have a new and improved Space Jam with um, a falling like blast zone you know from versus the ones with the walls next we have our skins now the skins that i'm showing you are not the only skins that are going to be on release there's going to be many more and you're going to notice a few of them that you're definitely going to see 
multiple are going to be on all characters. So the first one we have is Stripe in like a biker suit. Uh, we have Steven in a tuxedo. We have Jason X. We have Taz cross-dressing. We have Money Jake. We have Velma in a safari outfit. We have Rain Dog with a monocle. We have Jason in this like cosmetic looking type of skin, but I've been told that it's like um, cell shading. Uh, we have IG in the Matrix um, um, coding. We also have Jason in the in the Matrix coding. So you know, see see where I'm getting there. And also, you also have um, Superman and Harley in the you know cell shading. So you, you kind of get the hint of like what characters or what all characters should have um, on release. Then we have Beach Bash, Harley Quinn, the Batman who laughs. One in a million Superman. This one's already out, but I just wanted to showcase it again because it is glistening and it looks 10 times better. LeBron as a uh, Amazonian, um, the one that we saw previously, which is Beach Superman, and finally Velma in the Joker shirt. And I'm, like I said, there's gonna be more on release, guys. And now we're at our final and most important topic, gameplay. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the perks. Yes, the perks got a huge overhaul, guys. Um, they noticed that a lot of perks were being underused because others were strong. So they decided to remove a lot of the useless perks, improve the um, current perks that were very favorative, and then add some new perks along with it. Um, here are some of them right now, as you can see. And also, guys, no more starting the game off with no perks. You're actually gonna get some presets that they recommend for every character or just not just me a universal preset for everybody but then over time you're going to be able to unlock um custom perks and, and you know purchase your own perk and then build up your whole thing um and also this also change which is the perks um selection so not on so no more three stacking perks and etc we're gonna have three different perks two um two of them for yourself and the third one that you can stack with your partner and even that one i'm pretty sure is only for yourself but if you and your partner do stack it then you get the benefit of that perk stack so for example the first perk um section we have is standard which is only for you so whatever you pick is going to be for yourself not for your teammate the second thing we have are strongs and then the third thing we have are teams this is the one that i'm talking about you can stack this one you can stack but for example let's say if i took fire um and my teammate took um snowball only he would get the snowball effect and only i would get the fireball but if we both did snowball then we would both get it on an upgraded level same thing with the fire same thing with all these other perks and i'm gonna showcase some of them as you saw in the first picture um there's also a universal um sig perk for everybody so big shout out to the harley mains that decide to run no perk sigs because they think it's better they're lunatics but don't worry if you think that's the best now you actually have a perk it's called well-rounded it gives you a five percent boost to your damage and your defense so that is amazing no more running no more sigs guys you have a sig finally okay you have a sig um now the perks that we have that are in the rotation is periods of motivation this is not um, the last one but this one definitely got buffed i might start looking into this one 15 percent um damage boost after your teammate or ally has been rung out for 10 seconds and if you and your teammate runs it 20 seconds 20 seconds is a long time in this game um next we have is speed force five percent um base movement speed and then we have pugilus um melee damage um increase i wish they told us how much like by percentage or just by points but unfortunately we don't we'll probably have to test that in the lab um next we have is press the advantage your team applies a stack of weak weekend when knocking back enemies that are above 125 that means literally they're like oh you want to kill somebody all right hit them to this level and it um, almost every character will have an easier time, you know, killing those um, opponents. And if you and your teammates stack this, this is a team perk, it will start applying at 110 damage instead. That's crazy. Uh, another new perk that is definitely in the game is too fast to block. Your dash attacks break armor. Oh my god, that's a big thing for all the armored characters. That means almost everybody. Well, that means everybody. Yeah, everyone could break armor by just using their dash attacks. And I think that's amazing. And then the final perks that we got, because I unfortunately cannot go through all of them, and if you do know some of them, um, they're pretty much the same, like the beta but just a little bit better um but yeah we have last stand while you have at least a hundred damage knockback enemies um are applies weakened so yeah so if you're at a hundred over a hundred and you're still hitting your opponent and not getting knocked out you can apply a weekend to build up their damage right back and ko them and then finally we have is armor killer hitting an armor enemy will briefly stop them from using armor so that means if you just straight up hit like superman or wonder woman they can't just keep spamming or abusing their armor moves which is awesome and then now we're talking about the new mechanics in the game, which is the first one is they added parry, guys. Yes, they added grounded parries and they added air parries. Yes, so um, how you do your parries is you do neutral dodging and it's like pretty much perfect dodging. Um, you neutral dodge um, within, I want to say, the first two to three frames. I'm not sure, maybe five frames. I'm not sure, but that's how you get it. Um, if not, it'll just act like a normal... Um, 
neutral dodge and don't worry you can't spam it like you could back in the beta they're actually with recovery on it so don't just be throwing out your parries because you will be punished and then the next thing they added was dash attacking like pretty much what i just talked about the perks <laughs> so yeah that is also in the game and then finally there are some hidden tech in the game that you can do in this game and i'll give you one example where you can pretty much do an attack and do like a nice chase dodge to continue your attack and there's many more i'm not going to spoil it i'm going to let you find out on yourself um i actually don't know myself i just you know know it from the um early access people that told me about it so i actually don't even know how to do some of these things but i can't wait to find it out and finally i'm gonna end it off with showing y'all some gameplay of the new multiverses and i think this looks amazing um definitely more neutral i know a lot of people are a little saddened about the game being slower and the characters kind of being bigger um, i'm happy for the bigger characters that means we could definitely see our <laughs> drip more which is awesome um the speed uh i definitely think it was definitely needed to be toned down if you don't know multiverses was very abnormally fast and for the people that didn't know how to do it trust me guys this game was not slow multiverses was the fastest platform fighter ever i'm telling you you just didn't know how to do the movement <laughs> go watch some competitive games guys that was crazy but um i'm definitely liking this more visually and it's also better clarity um for like what's actually going on so there's no more like looking at the screen like uh what is going on you know so that's um a big w for them and i can't wait to play this game may 28th with y'all yeah, man hopefully you enjoyed the video guys if you like um if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments and talking about to y'all guys and again if you enjoy multiverse and cotton guys what are you doing subscribe this is the channel for y'all this is it and I'll see y'all May 28th, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA, cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find out.